What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Unova Red walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went to... Uh, we opted out from the second gym battle, and we decided to go straight to Vermilion City because we need to train our Pokemon, and I mean, we need to train them badly. We got a Pokemon that doesn't know any electric uh, moves. We have, uh... You know, we, we, we have a, a nice group of Pokemon that are leveled up, but... Don't seem to match, so I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and find some new Pokemon right here so we can actually battle these next two gym leaders and whatnot. So, here we are in Vermilion City, and well, first thing is first, we're going to be grabbing ourselves a good old, old rod right here. He is the Fishing Guru, and we're just going to tell him that yes, we do love fishing, and there it is. We got ourselves an old rod, and well, let's see. What can you find with an old rod? Can't be a Magikarp, or what is the equivalent of a Magikarp here in Unova, or the Unovan Pokemon right here? So let's go right ahead and take a look, and there it is. We are fishing, and let's see what Pokemon we're going to find. Would you look at that? So we have found ourselves a time pool. This guy eventually evolves into a pretty darn good Pokemon, a ground and water type Pokemon. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to try and capture it, you know, uh, via Pokeball right here, since it's at level 5. Now, I am, I am a little, you know, I, I am a little crossed with, with having Time Pool or Sandile because those are the two Pokemon that I kind of am looking at. And there we go. We have caught ourselves a time pool. Look at that. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this new Pokemon right here. Time pool, the tadpole Pokemon. They warn others of danger by vibrating their cheeks to create a high pitched sound. Okay, so. Hmm. Let's see. There is a nice nickname that I would love to give this Pokemon right here. But I don't know. Like, see, it is. A, it's going to be kind of like a Whooper, so or a Whooper slash uh, Whooper slash uh, Quagsire right here. Hmm. Like, see, like, see, like, see. Can't call it Froggy. That's that's too generic of a name. Huh. Ha 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 ha. You know what? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to think this through because, damn, it's a it's a time pool. Don't know what kind of a nickname I would have liked to give it. So. Give me a second before I find a good nickname. Okay, so I think I figured out a nickname for this Pokemon. Not too generic, but it kind of, you know, it kind of matches this Pokemon right here. So let's go ahead and give this Pokemon a nice nickname. I bequeath you the name uh, Budslide because, yeah, a lot of the, your Pokemon moves is going to be, you know, water and ground type Pokemon moves. So that's one Pokemon down. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we can actually find here in Vermilion City now that we got Unovan Pokemon. And, well, talk to this guy. I just caught a Pokemon that always seems to get into mischief. I think it needs a good trainer to set it straight. Now, this right here is intriguing because this is going to Pokemon Yellow and all that stuff. So, I wonder what Pokemon we would get from this guy. Now, the only way we can get to this is if we get our third badge. And, well, we don't have that. We're going to have to wait... A little bit longer just to figure out what it, what, what Pokemon it might be. Now talk to this guy. This guy's like, "Hi, do you have a Gothita? Want to trade it for a Meliota?" Sure. Okay. So that is what we're going to do. We've already gotten Gothita. Let's go ahead and just trade Gothita for Meliota. We'll capture one of these guys eventually again. I mean, it does have Water Gun that we kind of taught it and stuff, but it is what it is, guys. So here it is, trading Gothita for a Meliota. Now, I believe Meliota is a legendary Pokemon. Could be wrong. Hmm, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I don't know. Melio or Meliod Melodia. Melodia, Meliota, I don't even know how to pronounce this. But here we go, grabbing ourselves a newer Pokemon right here. And, well, let's see what we got. Yes, it's the legendary Pokemon, Meliota. Or me Melode Melio I don't even know how to pronounce his name. Meliode Meli Melita Melita. I don't even know how to pronounce it. So let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look at this Pokemon right here. As you guys already know, this Pokemon right here is a legendary Pokemon. And you can actually get this in an event in Pokemon Black and White. As you can see, it does have some quick attacks, seeing and confusion, so See, that's what I said in the last uh, in the last episode or two episodes ago. 
The Mew Glitch should have been this. It should have been this, but I don't know. So we're going to keep this Pokemon on our team, mainly because, well, it is a Psychic-type Pokemon, and we kind of do need that. Now, here we are going into the Pokemon uh, fan club right here, and got to talk to this guy. Yes, he's the chairman, and he's caught over 100 Pokemon. Yes, he wants to talk to us about his Pokemon. Yes, he likes his Pokemon Gardevoir. And, well, yeah, we're just going to keep on pressing that button. And, well, look at the time. Yes, he kept us here for a little too long, so give us the bike voucher. Oh, yes. Okay, so in exchange for that, we're going to... Oh, yeah, he has a Breviary. I could fly him away. There are a lot of interesting Pokemon I want to catch, guys. It's just which Pokemon to catch. So that's another one right there. We're going to figure out what you, what, what you actually give out. And then, let's see right here. What's this? That is a p -Dove, and well, this guy right here, I'm getting my p -Dove to fly to Saffron City, which is cool. And, well, let's see, there is something else right here, okay. So let's go straight to the Pokemart. We need to actually grab some new Pokeballs right here, and... Let's go ahead and grab five Pokeballs, and let's get the grass, get the rest on Super Potion, since we were battling quite a, uh, quite a few things right here, so... What is going to happen now is, here's the SSN. We're going to go right here straight to, let's see, this is a notice. Route 12 may be blocked off from a Pokemon, yes. Wait, what is it again? Notice, uh, blocked off by a, a storm of Pokemon. I kind of need to check this out. And, well, the Digger's Cave. So this is a little bit different than before. And what, what can we find here? Drillbers. Huh, okay, so, I was kind of hoping that we'd find sand dials right here. Okay, so let's see, Mr. Hydro, let's go right here, and let's go ahead and take care of business right now, and... Look at that, we have found ourselves a level 29 sand dial, oh my god, okay. We need to grab this Pokemon right here. Oh, damn, so the accuracy has fallen, but look, we are going to try and capture this guy, especially since our Pokemon are deeply under level, and look at that, Crunch Attack hits us, and there, <laughs> there it goes. Okay, so, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go with p right here, okay. Sandile looks like a good Pokemon right here, so here we go, Quick Attack, and here comes a Bite Attack. This guy already knows Crunch. And just like that, it leaves us with one HP. Oh, I think I already know what Pokemon I want to get. And oh my god. Crunch attack destroys us. So, <sighs> toxicity. Let's get this. And you know what? I'm going to start throwing a Pokeball right here because why risk it? So here we go. 12 Pokeballs and all. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. One, two, three. And there it is, guys. We grabbed ourselves Sandile. Level 29, the Desert Croc, okay. So this guy right here is, uh, they lived buried in the sand. The sun warm sands prevent their body temperatures from dropping. Hmm, not bad, okay. So let's go ahead and give this guy a good nickname. This guy, <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. Okay, so a level 29 sand dial. I think I know what to give it right here. Let's go. Killer Croc. That's right. Okay, so we're giving this guy Killer Croc as a nickname. And, well, that right there is a, a nice bit of luck. Let's go ahead and see what other we can uh, other Pokemon we can find here. And it's a Drillbur at level 21. Unfortunately, we already got one off screen a few episodes back, so... I think we caught the best Pokemon out of this whole this whole room right here. And here we have another Sandile, level 19. Holy crud, so we probably did capture the best Pokemon in this whole uh, this whole area right here. So I'm trying to escape right here. What the hell? Come on, man, leave me alone. And there we go. Okay, so <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So that gives us two very good Pokemon now I am a, oh god I am a I am a little 
I'm, I'm a little uh, cross between these two Pokemon because I knew this would happen. I knew it would happen. Okay, so now, let's see. Let's talk to this guy. If you're at the same level, yeah, okay. He, he's talked to us before. So, one of my biggest gripes about Pokemon uh, Black and White is that they, they have such good Pokemon in the desert. They have such uh, combinations, good combinations with ground type Pokemon right here, especially dark types. Now, I am going to, let's see, I'm, I'm going to return, I am going to put Mr. Hydro away because I don't think I need him anymore. And we got to take a look at these two Pokemon right here. So, stats, Mudslide eventually evolves into, let's see, a ground and water type Pokemon. And kill a croc right here. It's at level 29. Already, it's our strongest Pokemon, but it does have two, two, uh, two uh, typings right here: ground and dark. And well, let's. You know what? Let's go ahead and bring this guy out because take a look at this, guys. Now, now that we got kill a croc on our team, we can actually use a rare candy on this guy, and boom, it's at level 30. And it starts evolving. Look at that, guys. Holy crap. Kill a croc? Look at that. Okay. Kill a croc is a uh, croc -a -rock now. So let's go ahead and take a look at our new Pokemon, croc -a -rock. As you can see, croc -a -rock has some speed, has some attack. Holy crap. This guy is a physical Pokemon. So already our team is beefed up with both Oinkinator and Crocorock. Kill a Croc right here is going to be a good addition when we take on uh, Vermilion uh, or uh, Lieutenant Surge. Meliota or Melo Meloita, yeah, Meloita. Can't, I can't, why do I keep on saying Meliota and stuff? Meloita is a psychic and normal type Pokemon. Obviously, it's a psychic type Pokemon and a legendary Pokemon to be precise. I'm going to keep this guy on our team just because, like, okay, when it, like, when are we gonna get a chance to get a a, a good psychic type Pokemon as Meloda? And well, P Dove is gonna stay. Toxicity, I kind of want to grow it a little bit more so I can actually be a poison and uh, like a really cool poison type Pokemon right here. And then, uh, well, Flash to me is going to be a pretty good electric type Pokemon, but. I think in the long run, I might have to switch Flash and P Dove. Maybe, maybe. I don't know, guys. Like, I'm, like, this is where I get crossed because I got a good water type in the making right there. And yeah, I, <laughs> it's just a lot. So let's see. What else can we do right here? Okay, so we can battle the trainers on the other side right there. I, I prefer to wait. There is actually one more thing that we need to do. And it's actually, we, we can actually get a bike. So let's go right ahead and get a bike. And uh, finish it off right there. Off screen, I'm going to I'm going to find some more Pokemon right here, and you know just just to add to the collection. And then from there, you know we'll we'll see what happens. Let's go ahead and see what Pokemon we got right here. Holy crud baskets! A level 15 time pull. That's some BS right there, guys. So I may or may have not just jumped the gun with capturing a time pull like that. Eh, whatever. Okay, so let's go ahead and just go straight back to Cerulean City, grab ourselves a bike, and then just end it right there in that episode, and, uh, well, add to the collection. Already, I think, I'm, I'm starting to think, I'm, I'm starting to know what kind of a, uh, a team I want right here. Kinda, I don't know. I don't know, I'm, probably, I'm just gonna be searching for different Pokemon right here. Cerulean is another Pokemon I kinda wanna try out. It's just a lot of potential, especially now that, you know, in, po in Pokemon Unova Red, it just adds Pokemon from uh, the Unova region. So, let's go right ahead and do that, and then from there, in the next episode, you might see some new Pokemon, you might not. We'll find out. We'll eventually see. So, going back here to Cerulean City, we're going to be going straight into the bike shop, and we're going to be getting ourselves a bike. Look at this. Alrighty. Grab that. Oh, that's a bike voucher. Okay, and look at that. We got ourselves a bike voucher. And yes, I love the new bike. I just haven't used it yet, so. Bam. Okay, so stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, there's going to be a lot to cover. Uh, we're going to be battling the trainers on the other side of the route next to the Diglett's Cave or Diggler's Cave. 
And from there, we're going to, you know, we're just going to keep on doing, we're just going to keep on doing everything, okay? So, stay tuned, guys. I'll be right back for another episode of Pokemon You Never Read. See you guys.